So what can you do in Ubuntu? Well, unlike Windows, it has different effects and appearance. So let's say there the you you want a folder to be bigger, like these over here. Well, you can right click, then you click stretch icon, and douche like an image. You can stretch it big or a little. Keep it right there. As you can see my computer is a little right there. Well, my my computer. And then here's one cool thing that I just figured out. If you want to drag something to a folder, the folder opens as you drag over it. Put that back. And here's another thing that you can switch between screens, but I'll show you that in a sec. To do all these cool effects, like look, when this opens down, does an effect. When it closes, does another effect. See? And you can do the same thing when it opens. Let me open a calculator. See? Closed with explosions. Look at this. It's wobbly when you drag it. And it has a maximize effect and a minimize effect. I mean, and a window effect and minimize effect. And that same effect goes back up for it. So, and when the thing's open, you can get live previews. And then, the cube, the famous Ubuntu cube. Now, let's say you want this do something else on a different screen but you don't have any room well you just switch screens I got four right now see I can work right here I can also watch Chris Perillo there and there's another way of viewing the cube which is the famous way that way And look at this. You can drag this halfway over like that. And then do the cube. There it is. You can look behind the windows and stuff, like look behind Chris Perillo there. There. See that? And you can also watch a video, a uh, YouTube video halfway. Just drag this over here. I mean, back over here. Now let's go watch a YouTube video. Just pick one right off the catch. Now. And it has live previews on the cube also. Look, I'll drag halfway with the video being halfway also. Now, let's activate the cube. Look. It's cool now, isn't it? I know. And how do you get these cool effects? Well, I'll teach you that. Let's close this down. Applications. Oh, yeah. Wait. First, go to System and Preferences, and then go down to. Oh, never mind. You right-click on the desktop, change desktop background. Wait for it to pop up. Go to Visual Effects and click Extra. Right here, all the way at the bottom, right here. Then close that, then you go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. Then you're going to type in, I'll put this in the description too, sudo, sudo, space, apt, dash, get, install, 
space. I mean, get space install space. Comp is config dash settings dash manager manager. Now here I'll show you closer up. Right there, you can pause the video for a sec. Sudo apt get install compass config dash settings dash manager. And you're going to click, and then you're going to hit enter, and then it will ask you for the password. You put it in, and then if you already have it, it will just be updating it if it's not um, the newest version, but mine is. So, and then it will install and all that, and then if it asks you if you want to keep on going, just press Y, and then it will tell you. And then after that, Go to system after you've installed it. Preferences and advanced desktop effect settings. Now I have all these options and stuff. So, first of all, if you want the desktop cube, right here, it will say desktop cube. It's on desktop. Wait, I'm scoot this up. on desktop right there now you're gonna check that check mark and then you're gonna click on that and then it tells you how to unfold it you press control alt down I think is the default so control alt and down it unfolds the cube so you can switch by the arrow keys and then to go to the window you just let go and it'll go and then now to then you click ro you enable rotate cube also and then if it asks you if you want to disable anything like let's say wait, don't disable mm, like let me enable desktop wall and then it'll say it will ask you if you want to disable desktop cube and you disable the plugins and there or it'll be like that for default so you click on desktop cube disable desktop wall and there let me put in all my stuff back up again cube gears I'm trying to find out how to get cube gears to work uh, wobbly windows Okay, I think it's uh, yeah. Okay, so and then go down a little bit, and then there, and then if you want to get the cube up like this. Oh wait, let me get cube reflection on. Oh yeah, and to get the pictures on both the top, let me get a cube. Closer. And then to get pictures up on the top and bottom, you're gonna go to Cube Caps in Utility. Cube Caps, you're gonna enable that. Wait, let me go back. And then to get the cube is Control. Alt, and then you hit the first button. You left click and hold, and the cube will appear. If you want a different picture, I think it said press space. I'm not sure. No. See. And you can let go of Control and Alt. Then I think it said shift. Okay, yeah, so that's how to activate the cube and all this stuff. You can just play around with this stuff, have fun. So that's what you can do with 
Ubuntu. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh yeah. Um, if you want to switch between Windows like this without activating the cube, just Alt Control and then one of the arrow keys, left or right. And then on the bottom over here, you can add some panels and stuff. So it's pretty cool. So there's the Ubuntu guy. Well, not really, but just Ubuntu. I'm out.